Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys all about how I'm prepping our morning warm up binders for the new school year. warm-up binders. I have a whole video on what they are, how we use them. I'll link it up here. But basically, uh, it is a time in the morning before school starts where the kids do their independent work. So it's basically anything that they can do without my help that is not their major subjects like language arts and math. Sometimes they do go on to do those after morning warm-up if they have extra time and if they're a child that can do that on their own. But for the most part, it's just uh, their other independent work they can do um, that's not their core subjects. So um, today I am going to be working on printing out their copy work, making sure they have handwriting sheets in there. I usually just print off, I have pretty much all the good and the beautiful handwriting levels uh, on PDF, so I just usually print off some of those. For my little two, I do like this little calendar, I'll link it below, um, where they have little different Velcro pieces that they put on for their calendar every day. So I know there's lots of those pieces missing, so I need to go through that, figure out what pieces that I need to print off and laminate and put little Velcro tabs on there so that they can do that again next year. They really enjoyed that last year. Even though I didn't enjoy finding the pieces everywhere, we're gonna try it again this year, see how it goes. I also, for my six-year-old who's still getting the hang of reading, I want him to do some kind of devotions in the morning. My older one, he has just a devotional book that he uses. Um, but since my seven-year-old is not a confident reader yet, I was thinking of letting him read like the Bible app but I wanted him to have something to do after, like kind of to show what he learned from reading his Bible. So I think I'm gonna create some kind of section in his morning warm up. It's probably just gonna be some pieces of paper, uh, but I wanna create a section in there where he can write what he learned from reading his Bible. I wanna, wanna know what he learned about the character of God after each time he studies his Bible. So I'm gonna put that in there. I also wanna print out their checklist for their morning warm up. I usually just put a, a dry erase checklist in the front so that they know what they need to do for morning warm up and things aren't missed and they can check that off. So that's what I'm gonna be working on today and I'm gonna bring you guys along for the fun. So for my copy work, I have this, I have two books. I'll link them below. This is copy work for little boys. I have copy work for boys, which is an advanced version of this. And I am gonna take the spiral off so that I can put these in a notebook and also so that I can make copies of these really easily uh, because I want to probably reuse them every year. So I'm gonna take the binding off of this, put it in my copy machine and make a copy of this for each one of my boys morning warm up. could see yourself just sitting there on my chair I'm staring at you you don't even notice should have told you straight away you don't have to be afraid son I'm gonna let him do his copy work in this just plain notebook uh, because his lessons look like this but my younger son his lessons look like this so he can just copy the sentence straight onto those lines right there because baby you deserve some more Okay, 
Okay, so as part of Gabe's morning time, he is gonna be doing the gather round growing up with God, the first one. And so I do need to go ahead and print that off and get that put in his binder too. So that's what I'm gonna do now. the boys checklists for their morning warm-up and I just made these in Canva and I'm gonna stick them in one of these sheet protectors in the front of their binder and that way they can use a wet erase or a dry erase marker and check off what they complete each day so I was looking through shopping my homeschool stuff <laughs> And I was looking through and I found this and I thought this would be perfect for Landon to do his Bible with. He can draw a picture of what he learned from reading the Bible that day and then he can write one thing he learned about the character of God. So I think I'm going to put this just in his warm-up binder right here on the side and he can use that for Bible. For Landon, for his handwriting, I'm just going to use the handwriting we used last year which is the Good and Beautiful. I can't even remember what level this is. I think it might be level one. I don't know. But I printed out a whole bunch of them because he went through the first book. So I usually, that's why I get the PDF because my kids usually go through the book several times a year. So I had already printed it out and he didn't finish the second book last year. So I'm gonna just take what I had already printed out and make a section in here. I'm gonna have to go get some of these little tabs because I don't have enough, but I'm gonna um, put that, his handwriting in his morning warm up too. school practice sheets and we really didn't use very many of them so I think what I'm gonna do is pull out several of these for her morning warm-up as well as print her off some of the summer bundle stuff but still you're here and that's what I adore should have told you straight away finished I wanted to kind of just go through it with you and show you what we're gonna be doing so Gabe my upcoming fifth grader will be doing this is what he he's gonna be doing devotions this is his devotional we're doing this year he's about halfway through it so once he finishes this we'll just start another one and then he's doing growing up with God that is in here I still have to get some tabs for in here but he'll turn to that and probably do just a few pages a day and then handwriting, this is the handwriting he did last year. And so this is what he is gonna use for cursive practice, but he is still struggling a little bit with print handwriting. So I've also printed out the Good and the Beautiful level two handwriting for him, cause that's the highest level they have that's still in, that's print and not cursive. So he is just gonna do a page of exploring handwriting through US geography and then a page of this every single day just so he can get a little bit more practice on his print handwriting. He'll do Spanish practice. He does Spanish with our co-op, so whatever I, I'm his Spanish teacher, so whatever I assign that week for Spanish is what he'll be practicing for Spanish that week. And then copy work is right here. This is the one, um, this is copy, copy work for boys. So he, he will uh, do one lesson each day and copy these down using just a regular notebook. Then he needs to make sure I check his work and he also has to do fix it grammar, um, which is, I went, in, went ahead and put that in a separate folder because he's gonna do his morning warm up down here in his on his desk. And then morning time is gonna be upstairs and fix it grammar is gonna be part of our morning time. So I'm gonna leave that folder upstairs for our morning time. So he'll do that too. It's just one sentence a day that he's kind of checking and correcting and editing. Now, Landon is my upcoming second grader. This is what he will be doing. First, he will listen to his Bible on 
the iPad using the Bible app. He can just listen to one chapter. Then he's going to use this notebook to write down um, what he learned about God that day. And then he's going to do his calendar work. So he just fills this out using these two dashboards right here. And he really loves to do this. And it's a good practice helping him learn the days of the week, the months of the year. Like he pretty much knows all of that already, but this is just kind of fun. This will probably be the last year he does that version of that. And then he'll do his copy work. This is his copy work. Um, it's the same as his brother's, but his he'll write directly in here. So he'll just copy this sentence down right there. He'll do like a sentence a day. Then the next thing is handwriting. Now I have two different handwritings. So this is the Good and the Beautiful level one handwriting that we had left over from last year. When he finishes this, I'll print off level two. But I also had this left over from when Gabe did first grade during COVID. <laughs> he had a lot of school left over. So this is Abeka's writing with phonics one. And it's really good. So I incorporated this also into his handwriting. So he'll do a page of the Good and the Beautiful. And then he'll do a page of a Becca. And I think it's really good because um, it's kind of like copy work meets phonics meets handwriting. So um, he'll do a page of that and then this page each day. It is a lot of writing, but I really think that that helps them so much with grammar. It also helps them so much with penmanship and it helps with spelling and reading and all of that. So he'll do that and then he, he will practice his name. I have it to where he can trace it. And then he'll, I have, I just printed this off for him too. And so he'll write his name a few times. Uh, I, I just wanted him to have practice writing his name without it being tracing. So I just printed a few of these out. He'll probably copy his name down like twice a day. And then he'll bring this to me and I'll check his work every day. Next up is Emmy Gray. She will be officially in pre-K this year. So I have her just a little binder. She loves to just be doing it with the boys. So she has that same calendar as Landon um, where she can fill it in. Uh, her brothers usually help her do this since she can't read yet. And then she has her name tracing in here. And then I just have a whole bunch of worksheets in here from the Good and the Beautiful extra worksheets from their pre-K unit that she'll do. I also printed out a few um, summer bundle activities back here from the Home and Haven summer bundle because she loves to do those too. So uh, once we run out of these worksheets, I'll just restock it. I don't like to put a ton in there because she loves these things and she'll go crazy and do like all of them at once. <laughs> so I just print out a few at a time. So that is hers. That is our morning warm ups. They are finished and ready to roll for the new school year. I am super pumped about that. I'm sure everyone knows this hack and I'm just late to the game, but if you have these uh, sheets inside the front cover of your notebooks and they fall out, it drives me crazy. So what I do is just take a little bit of double-sided tape, I stick it to the back of that sheet of paper and I stick it in there exactly where I want it and press it down. And now it is not going to slide out of that notebook. It ain't going anywhere. So that helps so much. Okay, y'all. I got so much done. The kids had a heyday in the playroom as I worked and destroyed it all. But that's okay. Uh, we got a lot accomplished. I got their morning warm-up binders ready to go. And that's always like a really big chunk of work that I need to do. And so it feels good to have that accomplished. Be sure that before you leave, you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got even more homeschool prep videos coming out. I think I need to do one about printing out our schedules. I need to do one on school supply shopping. So lots of fun stuff coming your way. And I hope that you guys will be here for it. And I'll see you next time.